Hey guys, what is up? And today is the one year anniversary of one of my all time favorite movies from last year. That being No Ever Dan, Spider Man No Way Home. Yup, that's right. Spider Man No Way Home turns a year old today and it was released on December 17, 2021. So it's been exactly one year that Spider Man No Way Home came out to theaters. And what you can see here, I have the blue eye of Spider-Man No Way Home. The best Marvel movie of all time. Yes, indeed it is. Yes, indeed it is. Here's the spine, the other spine, and the back. The most exciting, surprising, and emotional body of them all. Set by P. Having a deadline. Rated PG-13, and it's... 148 minutes. The movie stars Tom Holland, Zendaya, Benedict Cumberbatch, Jacob Balan, Badawan, John Barrow, and Marcy Tommy. Also directed by John Watts. So, yeah. And so, I actually remember watching this movie twice. The first time I saw this movie was on December 18th of 2021. And then back in July this year, when I got my basement home, completely finished. And I gotta say, Spider-Man No Way Home is definitely one of the best movies of 2021, and my favorite movie of 2021 as well. So yeah, Spider-Man No Way Home was also the best Post-COVID movie to gross over $1 billion as well. Because this was such an awesome movie. And it is one of the best Spider-Man movies of all time. And we got to... And it's pretty cool how we got to see Doctor Strange in a um, Spider-Man movie. Which is awesome. Because Doctor Strange needed... Spider-Man needs help. Needs help from Doctor Strange. To get all the bad guys... To get the bad guys beaten. Like the Green Goblin. Electro Dude. Which was pretty cool. And it was pretty cool that we got to see the two Spider-Man back. From the original roles of Spider-Man 1, 1, 2, and 3. The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. Released 2002 all the way up to 2014 respectively. And I know a lot of people praised the hell out of this movie ever since this movie first came out. And it was the first longest movie in a long time since the pandemic. And like I said, the first post-COVID movie to gross over $1 billion. The second one was Taka Maverick and the third one was Jurassic World Dominion. So yeah. I've loved everything about Spider-Man No Way Home. It's definitely one of the best movies of 2021 right there. Definitely my favorite one. Right next to Encanto, which I love Encanto so much. But if I was to go from Encanto to Spider-Man No Way Home, I'm going to probably choose this over Encanto. Even though that was still an awesome movie too. But I still have yet to see Taka, Maverick, and Jurassic World Dominion. If Jurassic World Dominion ends up being good, I'll probably get it on Blue Eye. But if I don't, if it ends up being bad, I'm not going to get it. Because I heard pretty mixed things about this one. And also, inspired by Spider-Man No Way Home, Sam Raimi, the director from the first three Spider-Man movies, also loved this movie as well. And they were going to and they were talking about doing a Spider-Man 4 and the Amazing Spider-Man 3. But that's not going to happen until the future comes. And I could and I could definitely agree with you guys on this one. Spider-Man No Way Home is even better than Hotel Transylvania 4 Transformania. Which is definitely the, the worst movie of the year so far. And this should have been the last good Marvel sequel. Well, in my opinion, this has got to be the last good sequel 
the last good modern sequel. But if I was to join this or Hotel Transylvania 3, I'm probably going to say both, but mostly it's going to be Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation. Even though I still love that movie, along with and sequel, along with Bad Boys for Life and Toy Story 4. And of course, John Wick 3, Paul Bellum, along with Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Which, that is my dark favorite sequel, right behind Hotel Transylvania Dream and Terminator 2, and Terminator 2 Judgment Day from 1991. Which, both are fantastic sequels, as well. But also, this was the last move, MCU movie of 2021, because... This year, we got Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor, Love and Thunder, and Black Pepper, Wakanda Forever. And which, speaking of Phase 4, Phase 4 has gotten some ups and downs. But, you know what? Phase 5, is, I think it's going to get better. Better and better. With more originals and more sequels. But also, it would have been cool if Phantom, played by Tom Hardy, plays in the MCU Spider-Man movie, which that would be cool and awesome. Which that would be awesome and so cool to see. Although, I'm probably going to have to watch the first two Venom movies before there's an MCU Spider-Man 4. And, I'm pretty, and I've heard from a lot of people saying that Tom Holland is taking a break from Spider-Man. And they also re-released this movie back in September this year with Spider-Man No Way Home, the more stuff, the more fun stuff version. Which is a good thing that I've already seen it two times, so I don't need to see it again. So there's no need for me to go see an extended version of this one. I think the extended version might be more superior to the original. I'm not sure yet. I'm just sticking with this version because I really loved Spider-Man No Way Home so much with a passion. This was fantastic. This is also the best MCU movie from the 2020s decade. I loved it. Loved it so much. I loved it more than I loved Transylvania Dream. And I loved it more than, jo more than my Jawa Chapter 4, Chapter 3. And Terminator 2 Judgment Day from 1991. So, yeah. And also, the people from the original Spider-Man, like William the Vow and Dr. Octopus, they made a comeback, which is pretty cool. And it's also, and also Spider-Man No Way Home feels like a Spider-Man version of Avengers Endgame. Feels like another version of Avengers Endgame, but with Spider-Man's. And uh, the monsters, like the Green Goblin, the, the Dr. Octopus, and Electro Man. But in the next MCU Spider-Man movie, probably Battle and Glenn Stacy from the first two, from the first three movies and the first two Amazing Spider-Man movies, respectively. But I think there, there might be only one, only one of them. Because it's a shame back in 2020 that we didn't get um, a billion dollar movies, but a billion dollar movie from 2020. But at least this one crossed over one billion dollars last year. And 2021 was such a great year for movies, shows, and cartoons. Even way before Disney ruined it this year. But it was. But also. This one, like I said, this sequel, Spider-Man No Way Home, is even definitely better than Hotel Transylvania 4, which, of course, I can't stand that movie. So, anyways, with that being said, on this day in 2021, Spider-Man No Way Home came out to theaters 
Love this movie so much. Loved it more than I loved Transylvania Dream, more than I loved Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and more than I loved Rayman, Puss in Boots, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, Toy Story, Finding Nemo, The Little Mermaid. All these other movies, to name but a few. This is definitely on my top favorite movies list. I loved it. So, yeah. My top 10. I loved it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Glennis Ben, EST.2001. See you later.